meet on a certain day, the certain hour to discuss the project. The collaboration tool is doing this for you. Uh, keep in mind, um, one, you know, when, when this situation happened and we, we had to do teaching on distance, there was everybody had to go on, on Zoom or Skype or whatever and start communicating with each other. Now, there is another tool that some of us doesn't see it. Uh, and uh, the fact that when, when we are during the normal class time, we meet on a certain date in a certain hours. In that, we will usually uh, uh, share the knowledge, uh, talk about the assignment, talk about the exams and the test. This, if you think about it, all these activity, it become, uh, if you think about it as a virtual, then these are collaboration tools, do this virtual part of it. So basically, I created these virtual tools for you for a reason. And the reason is that, um, first of all, you guys as a group work together. That's one part. Uh, secondly, is we, once we, re we, we announce something, we, will, we don't need to repeat it again and again. And, uh, and, and all you have to do is really go into these collaboration tools, like the ones in the Moodle, such as the college offering you, the one in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Yammers, which is you are utilizing your Microsoft account to get on the Yammer, the Padlet that I created for uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, these are the tools that you need to utilize it and instead of meeting each other uh, on a coffee in, inside the school, there is no meeting inside the schools or there is no meeting outside in Tim Hortons. Now the meetings happening uh, virtually and to have these meetings between the students and sharing the information, this is where you need the collaboration tools. So you need to sign in and stay on the collaboration tool to dig in the information, to, to look at raising a question. For example, are we having an assignment today? You, if you look at your, uh, your, your um, uh, Moodles, you will know that, for example, we have an assignment or we have an, a test or we have an, a quiz. Um, <clears throat> are we gonna do attendance? Well, if you look at the previous classes, um on a i i i said it on the um on a youtube maybe i wrote it a few times it, this is probably a places where you can dig in uh, the daily uh, things that you need so if we utilize these tools then there is no timing is taken away from us in focusing on the material that we want to learn about it so this is why uh, I encourage you uh, to use these tools. Now, without further ado, uh, I did send an email yesterday. I announced it and keep in mind, I might be announcing certain stuff on, for example, Facebook or example on Yammer or Padlet or Moodles and all these tools, you need to check them. You can raise a question there and I will answer it or one of your classmates will answer it. Think about it is that when you're meeting your classmates on a coffee inside the school, inside the university uh, college, that's, that's it. we moved it to a virtual, which is the collaboration tools. Now, <clears throat> about the quiz, I um, try to not to go out from the, the, the book. So you will see the quiz, I will share it with you. And also I will put it on the screen and you have, um, uh, let me have it for you. Please download it and uh, I will send it now. Just give me a second. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Uh, we have MCQs and true false, right? I'm sorry? Uh, we have MCQs and true false in the quiz. 
can you write it because it's, your voice is breaking? Okay. Okay, I'm sending the quiz now. Please download it, look at it, and I will share it with you also. Okay. I think you receive the quiz, download it, and same times, it's here. Sir? Yes. Sir, you have uploaded a quiz on e-learning? No, it's, you received it now. Eh? You should receive it now. Sir, I didn't receive it. I uploaded it to the file. Hold on a second. Let me do it again. No, like I have to download from the mail or you will just... No, no, I'm sharing it on Zoom. So from Zoom, how it can be downloaded? The file is being shared with you. I will share it again to everyone. And here is the file is being called quiz one, open. And file says sent successfully. Now all you do is open it. If you cannot open it, okay, I will put the quiz on the screen. Uh, I will put the quiz on the screen and you can read the questions and answer them and then uh, send it to me. Sir, answer it right on the page? Yes, you write it on your computer, you save it and you mail it to me. Now, Alex, okay. what time do you have? Okay, hold on a second. I'm I'm just gonna explain this, sir. Sir, if we are not using computer and we can use pen and paper, how are you gonna send it to me? I'll take a photo and send to the mail. Wonderful. Anything that you can send it to my mail, uh, I will be glad to get it. Um, now, um, okay. uh, probably I need you guys to mute so I can read this uh, um, thing for you. Please mute uh, yourself, if you don't mind. Why you don't upload it on e-learning? I'm sorry? Please upload it on e-learning, sir. We can do easily. Yes, but e-learning, then you would not go. Um, um, I will upload it on e-learning. But right now, can you see my screen? Yeah. Yes. Yes, we can see, sir. OK. So basically, I'll show it to you. And you look at it and try to, uh, you know, I'll leave it there for you to read it. And it's uploaded on your Zoom. You can download. So how much time we will get to complete the quiz? I'll explain that. Uh, please, when I finish, ask me these questions if you have any questions. Okay. I need you to answer any four questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. have, you have 40 minutes. So each question will take 10 minutes for your, your, from your time. Um, plagiarism is unacceptable, so you cannot write directly from your the book. You have to write what you're, what you're on your mind, okay? Um, so give me a second. Uh, and mail it to uh, my address once you're done. So you have 45 minutes. Uh, uh, to finish it, uh, and then you mail it to me, to my address. Uh, I will look at, after 45 minutes, I will see uh, all of these mails, uh, your answers is there, and uh, anything comes later on, I do not accept it, okay? So you have, uh, from a starting point. How long should we answer, sir? I, I said you have 40 minutes and you have to answer four questions and okay. the question should be taken 10 minutes from you. You have no, five questions, like, uh, you have five have questions, to... you answer four out of the five. Okay, you look at the question and choose which one you feel to answer it. Each one, a question, you just write question number one and answer it. 
write okay. it on a paper or on your laptop on your whatever and mail it to me okay so all answers uh, these are only three questions you have four questions I'm is there any word limit or no you have 40 minutes Four yeah. question is not showing. Yes. Word so limit, sir. Word limit. I'm sorry. <laughs> is any word, word limit? Yeah. I'm, I'm not talking about word limit. I'm talking about time limit now. So if you are going to spend 40 minutes on answering first, I mean 30 minutes on for answering the first, <laughs> then you cannot manage the rest. <laughs> If you wait for me to finish this, and then I'll answer all the questions. I don't speak Urdu or Pishto or unfortunately. Um, so the first question you have, first of all, let me be very clear here. You have answer any four questions. You have five questions, you choose any four, okay? Okay. You to make sure that you use your knowledge. You don't use direct write up from the book, okay? After 45 minutes, I need this, your write ups sent to me by email, okay? Now, uh, the questions are, Yes. The questions are, do you really think that entrepreneurship think effectually? Explain and justify your answer. So you have 10 minutes to answer that, or more or less. The cognitively flexible seems to require that the entrepreneur continually questions himself or herself. Does not that create a doubt? about some other people the next question the question number three says what excite an entrepreneur and why uh -huh. okay how an entrepreneur should recover from loss and we played the video last time and, and on, on that and also we spoke about it question number five is increasing the entrepreneurial on orientation of a firm, not individual, a firm, always the good thing? Yes or no, that's your answers. So out of these five questions, you need to answer four questions, okay? Save it and mail it, or write it on a paper and send it to me, to my mail, whatever it is that you're gonna do, okay? Okay, sir, don't worry. I'm not worried. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys can do a really sir, good job in that. Sir, now, yes. Sir, you can speak Hindi? No, I don't. Oh, sir, sir, you're not from India? No, I speak Farsi. Oh, my God. You learned Farsi? No, I'm originally originally from Iran. Oh, somebody who seems to like Indian. I do mix lots of words that you guys speak sometimes. Because I okay, sir, that. one thing more. How long the answer should be? That's what I said. 10 minutes each question. 10 minutes? Like he means, like, in how many words? Like, in how many lines? Yeah, yeah. It's, I Professor, word limit for the answer. Word limit for the answer. I, I understand your question Excuse very me, well. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> yes. Sir, when you gonna start the quiz, sir? You are defining the four minutes. Just tell okay. me the. You, you start now. Yeah. Just, uh, we you start, start now. Yes. But we are not able to see this in own e-learning. I'm sorry. Please upload it on e-learning. E-learning. Yeah. You want it to be uploaded in e-learning? Yeah, we can see easily over there. You can not see it now. Screen shot. Yeah. Oh, Master Ji. Hello, sir. What you don't sir, see? Sir, sir, please, sir. sir, please help me. Let me know one thing only. Okay. okay. Sir, how many words? Like to 50 words, one, one answer or like 100 words, one answer? Uh, I already yeah, answered yeah, yeah. your question. Yeah. 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 Who said 10 minutes? You can spend 10 minutes. How are you doing? Raj, write a book. 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 Write a book.
I will find out. Is it like a, it's okay? See my, Don't see my innocent face. <laughs> see, I cannot see your face. Oh my God! Oh, you got a very innocent face. You're driving a car, and you're distracting other people by their answers. Sir, I'm not driving. I'm sitting sir, here. I ordered my. Firstly, Rajbir is very innocent. He never copy from Google. Yeah. <laughs> I Whenever never... you copy from Google, from Maria. I will get you. You're saying you copied from the Google, and I can tell because I can run That's this it. application. You, what do you wrote? Run it to to the application and find out where you copied. From. Okay, Master. You are starting my quiz. I'm starting. Yes, start now. And uh, sir, you okay. haven't said me best of luck, sir. You haven't said. Yeah. Okay. Wish you best of luck. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. And uh, I'm here to answer your questions. Okay, so I'm starting. I have to unmute everybody. So time starts now. Sir, yes. wait. I have a question. Sure. Sir, is there any word limit for the for the question answer? Oh shit. You have a time limit. Okay. That's it. Time limit. No word limit. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Is that okay if I write on uh, copy and I send a picture of the answer? Yes, you can do that. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um. Did everybody receive the questions? Okay, uh, you seen, um, I think the, the test, uh, the quiz was easy. It wasn't difficult. And I also wanted to make sure that you have a, 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 an understanding of how the final, uh, the, the exam is gonna come. It's not gonna be, you know, A, B, C, D answers or uh, true or false. It, you need to understand how the this thing is happening? Uh, it's a it's a 4:45. Um, after that, I would not accept any more emails from you guys as an assignment. Mm -hmm. And also, you need to know, understand the material and build your thoughts. Now, <clears throat> let me explain one more time, and uh, probably, hopefully, we can, you know, understand this very well. Um, see. The whole concept is that we went through building uh, uh, building the the collaborative tools. The collaborative tools it's all about um, all the questions that you have away from um, the class information. That's one part all the coordinations between you, between you and me, between each student, a group, it can be written and answered in the collaboration tools. Collaboration tools are tools that we use it virtually because we cannot meet person to person. That's one thing. The second part, these collaboration tools are tools are used for sharing information. Now it could be about the subject or could be uh, in the subject. So this way we can save time of not repeating the same questions. I'll give you an example. Um, maybe the last three classes, uh, every time it took five or 10 minutes from, from everybody is just to explain that I use Zoom to um, uh, uh, to download your attendance. So I don't need your attendance. I just have to go to the Zoom and download what time did you join? What time did you leave? 
uh, all this information. And I saved them for the college to take them. So if, if I'm gonna repeat that every week, then it will be taking time from, from other students. And uh, I'd rather to write it down and have you guys uh, find it in the, the e-learning tools that we have it in, in the Moodles for the college, or maybe you will have a copy on it on a Facebook or a copy of it on the uh, Padlet. Uh, that's all these tools or Yammers, all these tools, uh, it's collaboration tools at your uh, hand. And you can see them anytime. So if you have a group meeting and you cannot attend it, now the good thing is that you can attend it later on. So one of your team members maybe write something, you can go back always on the Padlet or on the thing and catch up with your team. So this is why you have a collaboration tool. Now I know these are too many, info, too many things that you need to deal with, but I know that you also uh, very well in the Facebook, understand very well, but Facebook is something for the social. This is built for education and business. So try to use the social and the business and education tools all together because I'm not only evaluating you on the um, uh, your quiz and your test and your assignment. I'm evaluating you based on your activities with the team. So if you have a good intention and if you're working with your team, I can see it when you're writing something on Padlet, asking the rest of the team to catch up or adding your thoughts. I can see that you've been active. And this is how I can tell uh, whether you understand the materials or not. Uh, if you if you, if I have to keep repeating these information because some class is missing, then I would not move on with the chapters and, and we will be stuck with the first two, three chapters for the rest of the class, uh, the, the season, uh, the semester. So please um, go and participate on these tools that I already made it for you to share the knowledge, information, and understand uh, everything. Now, if you're gonna tell me that you're not a member of a team or you don't know what's your team, please do one thing. Announce that on, on Padlet, announce that on Yammer, announce that on Facebook, and find out who is your team group. And if there is nobody in your team group says that, you will find another announcement from other group who says, I'm a three, we are three people and we have to be five. Anybody willing to join us? So these what you call a collaboration tools. Now we know Zoom, we know um, um, Skype, we know Meet Me. These are tools that for the lecture, for the meeting, for everything. But these are also tools for collaboration, which is we will use for exploring more information for questioning more uh, each other I just it just we use it for more information for developing our knowledge about the subject more uh, and the good part of it you can drive now or you can eat now and maybe three four hours later you can look at these things and you find the lost information that you've been looking for there. So please make a use of these because these are not belong to, a, this is not going to be used only in college. When you go in the market, you will be using some of these tools, uh, uh, those, these applications. Um, so uh, familiar yourself, join them and start working on them and share the information with each other. Don't worry, you can write anything, but I'm here to support you, to help you, to take you to the journey of learning, and also to um, provide you all necessary information when you cannot find them on this site. So utilize these tools because re later on, we're gonna use them for 
not only building your group, we're gonna use them for meeting with each other. Think about it this way. When it was virtual, not virtual, and you can meet everybody, you can say, hi guys, we're a group, we have an assignment, let's, or we have an exam coming, let's meet over a coffee inside uh, in, the, in the college to discuss it. Now you cannot do that, you can do it on the collaboration tool. That's the whole idea of having a collaboration tools, is the group, share the information, share your feeling, um, find any other questions, find any other answers. And uh, please be very uh, active on all of them. So I might announce it on uh, Moodles, which is belong to the college, or I might announce it on uh, Padlet or on Yammer or on uh, two of these tools. So please feel free to download all these applications and utilize them because this is what you're gonna utilize in the future. Now to the further ado, we'll go to the uh, subject and please um, write me if you have any questions. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, please. Hello, sorry to interrupt you, sir. Uh, do we have any assignment or quiz for next week? Well, that's a very good question. Um, I, I'm, I'm not sure if we're gonna have any assignment because we don't know how fast is we gonna go with that. But I'm sure by next week, you are probably gonna start thinking of as a group, what subject you gonna explore as an entrepreneur? So soon I would expect you, not maybe next week or the week after, I'm expecting an agreement from you and your team to come up with uh, a subject that you're for a, your final submission and a presentation. So if we had a class, a live class, a physical class, I'm pretty sure after this class, your team is gonna to gather together over a sandwich and a Coke and start talking to each other. Because you cannot do that now, you can go over the collaboration tools and start talking to each other. It's a, virtu a virtual way of meeting. So you start finding out who is in your team. Uh, you start finding out what's the subject you need to talk about it. and what's the subject you're gonna write it as a final assignment, which is, a, I think it's worth about 30% of your mark or 25%, which is, it is, you need a lot of collaboration with each other. So we wanna make sure these tools are used very well. Uh, I, I put them available. Unfortunately, unfortunately, none of you guys mm, have joined in the Padlet, left alone. And um, and I don't know what you're counting on it, but uh, there is work that needs to be shared with you as a team um, between each other, divided. Questions might raise, um, and if I have to, you know, uh, I'm I'm not trying to be, you know, I just wanted you to be on the right path where you can. Uh, Put it this way, you cannot every day go back to, you know, and um, we repeat the same answers. Um, but on the Padlet, on the YouTube, on the, um, uh, on the Yammers, on the Facebook, you will find your answers there also. So uh, if you can go on the, you know, uh, Google, you can uh, download the video and see what I have, for example, spoke about. And I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about in general uh, for the whole class that you need to utilize these tools to, to, so we can move on. We have over 30 something students. And uh, right now I have over 20 students in this class. So there is around a good number is missing. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna download this uh, attendance and make sure that I have a copy. Um, I'm, if they ask me to share it, I will share it. Uh, I don't need to do the attendance. I do have the attendance. 
from a Zoom tool. So uh, please uh, um, utilize all these technical tools for your own benefit. Um, and I really wish you good luck. And I'm here to guide you step by step to make sure you go through these, these things. Now, um, I'm just gonna unmute you so we can go on uh, with the with, uh, lectures, please. And if you have any questions, just wanna make sure that you write it to me and I'll be glad to answer it. Okay. Um, let's see if we should. Okay. This is chapter two. In the last time we spoke in this chapter, we talked about corporate entrepreneurship and we went through talking about um, individual entrepreneurship and corporate entrepreneurship. What's the difference between them and how these, uh, the key element, the entrepreneur consists of and all these details. So um, today we're not gonna repeat the same information. We will stop uh, where we, uh, uh, we will start where we finish in the, in the last time. So um, now um, probably, okay, I can see there was a question. Let me see. Um, see, this is a very good question, whether the attendance have a mark, and uh, probably if you see the, the, the YouTube, I think we did speak about it two or three times, is the fact that attendance does not have a mark. Attendance means, for me, is that you are participating and participating means marks, that's for me. Attendance for the college means that they need to use it for, I don't know, their reasons. So the, your attendance will be sent to the college for different evaluation. Then my, your attendance with me for a different evaluation. I look at the attendance that you have is telling me whether you've been participating in the class or not. And that's, there is a mark on participation. I look at your Padlet and Facebook and Yammer and your uh, forms, e-learning, to see whether you are participating in the class with your group. And that's a mark in it. So it's, Attendance comes automatically. I download it, I save it, I forward it to college. But once I put the marks, I see who is attending the class. And once somebody's asking me a, a question, um, I see like um, he needs uh, probably uh, find out a way to find this answer for this question. And if he cannot, I will be very glad, it would be my pleasure to, to answer these questions. Um, so uh, please, uh, 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 try to uh, go back uh, uh, to, to announcement that I made on the forms, find out uh, the links that I sent to you, uh, click on these links, these links will take you straight to the Padlet, take you straight to the Yammer, take you straight to the Facebook, add yourself there, start building your group. Then after you cleared your group, you send to me your group uh, with this, everybody who is in your group. And then you start collaborating on, with your group, coming up with a subject that you're gonna work on it for your final assignment. Then when I see this moving fine, I will raise some questions just for us to share the information. 
If you have a question, you can write it on one of these tools and have anybody in the class can answer it for you. If nobody's answering, then I can answer it, something like that. So it's important that you, you, you stick with the, this rule because trust me, it's not gonna be like old days where we can physically meet maybe, hopefully after this semester, maybe, maybe not, we don't know what's going on. But so far, this is how we're gonna work uh, uh, through it. Now, please, when you send me the email, you wanna use the email on the top of the, the quiz. I wrote it down there and it's there. So if you don't use that email, for sure there is something wrong with your email because I'm getting everybody's email. And if you cannot send it, for sure there is something you need to set up your email properly. And, uh, and I don't think there is a failing in my email uh, because I'm, I got over 40, uh, over 30 emails right now from you guys. So if it's failing, you might need to set up your, your uh, there is a technology problem uh, from your side. Okay, so um, on the last class, we did reach to this point and basically we have spoke about uh, uh, the first steps to secure top management commitment. So we, we did talk about identify areas of interest and whether if there is money available. The third thing you need to do, they use the technology to make the company more flexible. The fourth, we spoke about the interest of managers um, uh, training their employees on coming into the, the issue is the a new project. The fifth thing that uh, develop uh, always to get a closer to customers. We always need to be closer to the customers to understand what the customers need. And we need to learn to be more productive with the fewer resources. So you bring in an employee that has ability to do a multitask. Uh, would be a wise thing to do in the beginning when you start your entrepreneurship uh, project. Uh, you establish a strong support structure with a family, with partners, with the uh, chamber of commerce, with, with all the necessary that makes your entrepreneur uh, operation goes fine. And tie the reward performance of the unit to entrepreneur. If I'm an entrepreneur and I'm getting the same salary like everybody else, and I come up with a business that makes a possible, will make a $500 million for my company and I'm still getting the same salary, then I will be quitting that job. Uh, and I will be move on to get something and probably compete with them. So you need to tie the rewards with, as a company with the entrepreneur. And finally, allow the successful unit to expand and the unsuccessful one to collaborate. This is how the old corporation do when it comes to uh, um, um, their entrepreneurial unit. Now, Excuse me, sir? Yes, sir. sir can you des describe the last point? Okay, wonderful. Yes, sir. Sir, so, both. Yeah. Uh, see, uh, allow successful unit to expand and the unsuccessful want to be eliminated. Now, let's say, um, I'll give you a very good example. Um, when I started working for a company called International Turnkey System, um, they looked at two sectors to establish, and they don't know which one they're gonna do. So they had a uh, focus on higher education or focus on solution uh, for hospitals. I took care of the higher education and somebody were, uh, were taken off uh, hospital. Then the management decided says, okay, higher ex uh, education is expanding very quickly and generating quick money and we need so much supports 
uh, to, to do this. So they close the service that they're providing to the hospitals as an IT, and they move the employees, the technical employees, to support me to forward the business of higher education. So they didn't do any further service for hospitals because that was unsuccessful uh, uh, entrepreneur uh, trip or entrepreneur. Yeah. The higher education uh, was very successful. So they moved all the team, such as sales, uh, who is focused uh, or technical team or the implementation team who were working for hospitals. They moved them with me for higher education because they saw there's more business there. So this is what, what meant allow successful unit to expand. And you don't fire these people, you just move them to, to the successful one. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Wonderful, wonderful. I, 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 love, I love your question. Okay, now, um, very quickly, the problem and the successful effort uh, we already spoke, uh, there, is a, there is a successful implemented corporate, uh, corporate entrepreneurship. Um, this is only examples. And uh, here, um, basically, um, uh, bringing an example of a 3M, which is they allow the employees to spend some time of their times into entrepreneurial things. And by the way, um, this is the post-it took the three M's like a 10 years, but somebody invented it and they were very successful with it. So they said, okay, let's open an, an, uh, an entrepreneurial uh, department for it. And this is where the three M right now is giving times to the, to the people to be entrepreneurs. Same thing with Xerox. Steve Job was, was working for Xerox but because he felt that there is no entrepreneurship there, he moved and opened, guess what? The Apple. And now if they had a department of entrepreneurship, maybe Steve Jobs will be staying with Xerox and maybe the Apple organization will be owned by Xerox. Imagine how effective to be an entrepreneur and creating billions of dollars. It's the same thing happened with Microsoft. When they, he went and bought for $7,500 DOS application. See now his salary is $60 billion and above. He didn't program that, the DOS. And then moved from DOS to more and it became Microsoft. So this person, if he was working for an, uh, a company, then probably he would have stayed working for that company and no such a benefit that we are using. And he would not get such a benefit. Um, uh, same thing with the Steve Job. If he stayed with the, with the Xerox, maybe he would have went with nobody. Now all of us, um, can see how beneficial to, to, to be an entrepreneur, whether within a company, a corporation, or outside the corporation. Now, um, excuse me, sir. Yes. I have a question. Sure. sure. Uh, but if we don't have enough money or if we are not financially strong to become an entrepreneur, Okay, um, here's the question good, it says, if we don't have financial or we cannot, or we missing a resource actually, don't look at the financial is only a financial, it's a, a multiple resource. An entrepreneur never looks at resources to own. They share resources. So um, an entrepreneur company or entrepreneur individual will look at all these resources and they will uh, share these resources. So he says, okay, I need money. I can sell some of it and get money for it. Or I can go to a bank, 
and invest some or get my, my, my means from the investor. So entrepreneurs is a different than a regular company. And this is how you differentiate between regular companies and entrepreneur companies. Regular companies, usually they don't do anything unless they have the control over all the resources. The entrepreneurs do not do that. They are basically, um, um, they do not uh, share the resources. Sometimes I forget how. So uh, this is the difference. Please, um, I just don't want to keep unmuting you guys. Um, if you can unmute yourself to mute yourself, that would be wonderful. So the goal, the differentiate between uh, entrepreneur and non-entrepreneurs, the entrepreneur as an individual, as a company, is thinking of sharing the resources. The regular company says, no, I wouldn't do anything until I have the full resources, whether money, manpower, goods, or services. Now, um, the last time we showed a video about losing, losing, and uh, as an entrepreneur always will have, a, you know, we go through businesses and you lose some businesses. So the whole goal is how to get out from this symptoms is the fact to move on to the next uh, activities is that you have to go through inhaling. And the inhaling that you do is very, uh, um, you're sharing your history, but you're also thinking of the future in the same time. And they will be working together. Maybe this time we are not, we don't have time to, to share the, the video, but on the next class, we're probably gonna share this because I, I believe it's a very important uh, for any entrepreneur should know, or any entrepreneur company or individual should know how to uh, get out from the situation that he is facing. Or probably, let's see if we can manage the video now. Um, it's important that uh, I want you to see this. Um, just say, give me a second. Okay, that's by Dr. Uh, Terry Danielle. We played that, but. Okay. Um, I would like to share this video with you so you can see it. How important that, because you will be failing sometimes and you need to work with it. Talk to you about something called the dual process model. And this is a little exercise I'm gonna give you. So um, with Elizabeth Kubler-Ross stages kind of pushed away and new research and new approaches are, have been coming in over the last 30 or 40 years. One of those approaches is called the dual process model. And um, what that means is during grieving and mourning, it is normal for you to, vacillate back and forth between what they call loss orientation and restoration orientation. So loss orientation means you're focused on your loss. So if you're in loss orientation, you're laying in bed with the covers over your head, you can't get up, you can't go to work, you're screaming at everybody you know, um, you can't get along with your spouse anymore, you're just in this dark, dark, deep pit of rage and anger, and everywhere you go, all you can think about is your loss. I'm going to give you an example of that. Um, I gave a talk at a, a TCF um, Christmas candle lighting event a few years ago. And a man came up to me, and this is what he said. He said, my son was murdered six years ago, and I'm very angry, and I want everybody to know about it. 
So when I'm out in the world at a grocery store or a bank and the teller or the clerk says to me, have a nice day, sir. I say to her or him, I never have a nice day. My son was murdered six years ago and I never have a nice day. And the poor little clerk says, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And the guy says to her, you would never understand until it happens to your child. This man at a TCF meeting actually came up to me and told me this. This is an extreme example of loss orientation. He lives completely in his loss. Now there may, may be times during his day where he pops out of that mode and moves to restoration. Remember, we're calling it restoration and not recovery, where he starts to restore. So maybe one day he goes and he plays golf with a friend. And for a couple of hours, he gets a little respite and he's not angry. That's the restoration period, you see? Or maybe he, he's not a good example because he's so extreme, but let's still stay with him. He um, goes home and he decides it's finally time to take the kids' clothes out of the closet and start giving them away. Or he starts socializing again. Or maybe it was his wife, now I'm moving to another character, his wife died. And, and statistically, we know that um, in old age, men tend to die before women. There's a lot more single women than single men out there. And uh, statistically, we know that elder widowers tend to get married again within a year. And so let's say this widower starts to date and goes on Match.com. That's restoration orientation. He goes on a date. He doesn't like the woman he was with. She's nothing as good as his wife. He comes home and he cries himself to sleep. That's loss orientation. Healthy grieving allows you to go back and forth between those things as much as you need to. 10 times a day, 100 times a day, 100 times a week, whatever it takes. The key is that you keep it moving. You see? If you stay too long in loss, and you're not having those periods of respite and orientation, you're gonna get stuck into complicated grief, which we can talk a little bit more about um, a little bit later. <clears throat> so I wanna show you a little tool that you can use during the holiday season. I'm going to share my screen now, Brian. So I just click share, right? This, all right, can everybody see that? Yeah, we see it. Okay, so this is a little chart. I'm going to send you a blank version of this uh, in the email after we're done here. And I'd like you to keep track of yourself as you go through loss and restoration. Okay, um, there might be a... Uh, okay, so um, uh, please, I'll just... Uh, Write this email again. If anybody who did not able was not able to send to me, write it, send it to me. F dot Bachari at SLC St. Lawrence College dash alpha dot C A. Okay. Um now we're just gonna 